The MTA's mentoring program is a program that we created because of the historical impediments that most small contractors were facing, like access to capital, access to training, access to the right size contract, and access to surety bonding. This program started at the New York City School Construction Authority in 1992, and I was there for 14 years. So we, we uh, uh, in fact, created the program and refined the program there. And then I was given the opportunity to navigate over to, to the MTA to work some of the same magic, but on a more broader platform. Because MTA um, is six operating agencies in one, serving 14 counties, 68,000 employees. And we spend a annual budget of $13 billion. Basically, the, the goal of this program is to award at least $100 million a year in projects. Uh, starting in 2016. We are mandated to spend taxpayers' money in a very inclusive manner, inclusive of the small businesses like Zion. Zion is a small contractor that needed assistance in us breaking down larger contracts so he can bid to us as a prime contractor as opposed to working historically as a subcontractor. And so we, we are putting the destiny in, in uh, his own hands by paying him in 10 days, by waiving binding, uh, by having uh, access to capital program in which he can access capital. This program um, is a program that we view as an investment. The investment is, is that the more contractors that we have bidding on our projects, there's a downward spiral on, on pricing. We are also creating jobs in areas which there has not been any job growth. We have a, a training program in which we train contractors how to finish our, our projects safely, timely, and on budget. And it's mandatory for them to take our training courses. Our pre-qualification process, it weeds out contractors who have a uh, long history of doing unsatisfactory work and any contractor who has tax liens and tax judgments. So the pool of contractors who are doing business for us are clean. And these are the kind of uh, contractors that banks and surety bonding companies love because they're clean and they can grow. We started as a painting company. You know, we find out that we couldn't be a prime contractor. We couldn't be directly to the MTA because if you pick a small project for the MTA, that's a five to 10 million project. That's too big for us. So what we actually decided back then was to be a subcontractor. In sub as a subcontractor, you actually can get a small, you know, pieces of the project. You know, and you do well, but the problem is you don't grow. We saw the opportunity with the mentoring program. Um, what, we're, what they were doing were actually breaking down big projects into a small projects. So small contractors like us could be directly to the MTA. We couldn't believe it. It was amazing. It's funny because actually we have done three projects for the MTA and they are so diverse, so different between each other because that's another thing actually. You not only are making money, you are also learning you know, learning how to do different projects. Our first project was actually a facade renovation. Then we did a bus washer. Finally, we did a street stair repair. The people that you're hiring are, are also people from around here? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, you know, some people from Freeport, um, you know, Hempstead, Uniondale, um, Leanbrook, you know, so yeah, it's all you know, local people. Our new five-year capital plan is $36 billion. $36 billion is going to be spent by the MTA uh, from 15 to 19. So we have room for growth for a contractor like Zion. I would recommend to everybody, you know, everybody that is out there, you know, uh, running their businesses, they should come to the MTA, you know, knock their door, how I apply, how, how I can apply, how can I get in, because this is awesome.